Good morning, Anne Murphy here. How are we today? Welcome to the first day of the decluttering challenge. I'm so glad that you're joining me today. Um, like I said, it's been something that I've been wanting to do all year. Um, like I said, not that I've got a lot of clutter. In my case, it's a lot of sentimental items that I've been hanging on to that just don't serve a purpose anymore. And I just don't want um, people to have to deal with it after I've gone. Not that I'm going anywhere in a hurry, I hope. But I wanted to make it as easy as possible for myself because I don't have a lot of time. And I think that's been the problem in the last six months is that I'm just running out of time or I think I'm running out of time. Where if I just try and allocate short spaces of time to what I want to try and achieve, I think I'll be able to get it done, which is like how we do everything in our house, a little bit of housework here and there, our, the roadmap to routine that I practice and preach every day, those couple of chores that I do every morning, and it sets me up for the day. So I wanted to um, also tell you that there is no right or wrong way. Uh, we've seen it all before on the TV shows, the decluttering shows, that all these gurus come in and they clear out the room or they clear out the house and they have a crew of about 20 people helping organize all of that well we don't have that luxury we're all really busy so that's why I wanted to try and teach people how I'm going to do it to try and incorporate it into my daily routine by allocating 30 minutes now 30 minutes isn't just to well this is what I'm tackling today this bookshelf there's a whole um, two bookcases here that I need to get through but I'm just going to be doing a shelf at a time and um, I created these worksheets now you don't have to use them like I said you can use the back of an envelope a notepad or an exercise book and my um, printer ink ran out when I tried to print these but they are in um, the file section of the group if you wanted to print it out it's just going um, room by room um, and doing one room at a time so what I've done is um, just the living room area and I've um, recognized all the oh, that's back to front too by the way but I've recognized all the hot spots that I want to declutter so bookshelf one bookshelf two three four five six um, a small cupboard that I've got here at the front door that's got so many phone cords and charges and things like that I wouldn't even know what's in there it's just kind of like a dumping ground um, I've got a small hall table here behind me that's got um, a good set of cutlery in it do we really need the good set of cutlery I've got all my Nana's bone handled um, cutlery and um, all that kind of thing that just never gets used I'm just hanging on to it for the sake of hanging on to it a china cabinet here um, with lots of teacups and things in there that I don't even use anymore. Um, I do have some that I keep out which I do use. And I've got a coffee table there um, too with boxes of old photos. So I want to try and do all that. Is there a time limit? No, there's no time limit. I'm just doing it 30 minutes a day. I'm not getting overwhelmed. I, that 30 minutes will include me um, taking the items off the shelf, sorting them, listing any... Um, items that I want to sell and taking what I'm donating straight out of the house so whether that's putting it in the boot of the car or at the front door ready to go but we all know what happens when it goes in the boot of the car don't we so we'll try to get it out of the boot of the car into the um, thrift shop so what I like to have when I'm starting is um, three receptacles I've got these um, tubs these um, I purchased for my office, when I did a um, home office makeover a couple of years ago, I lashed out on some of these tubs, which I don't really like to do. I always like to try and find something that uh, will do the job, but I just lashed out and got them. But I've since updated my office area with one of those um, IKEA Trofast systems, you know, the three shelf um, unit with the drawers in it. Someone across the road just had it out on their footpath and they were giving it away for free and there was nothing wrong with it. And it's just perfect for me to have the little bit of craft stuff that I use 
plus any stationary, like overflow stationary, like paper and um, things like that in it. So that works perfectly than having these tubs. But these tubs I've got designated for the linen cupboard. And the linen cupboard is going to have a huge cull, um, don't worry. So I've got two of these tubs, one for uh, sell, one for keep, which I hope won't be um, filled up at all. And then I've got a, um, because I'm working with books, I've just got this old box for the um, books to go in, which will go straight to donation. And also, while I'm decluttering, I like to have just a, a cloth and my um, spray bottle. I don't use any uh, cleaning products when I'm cleaning. I just use water and a microfiber cloth with a, little, a few drops of essential oil in it. Um, just spray the, the cloth just to give it a wipe down. And, um, and that's all I do. So I've got up here, like uh, years ago, my daughter liked reading the Enid Blyton books. And I think I had a few from when I was young. Also all the little golden books. She's 15 now and doesn't read them anymore. So um, I'm just going to, it's an old CD here that no one listens to. These, um, book uh, I don't know, can't remember what they're called uh, book stands so I'm going to be put, putting them all in the um, I'll put the CD in the donate I might um, sell those uh, book stands the thing is um, I guess what you think might be valuable to someone and you think oh you know someone will buy those book stands they cost me $20 I hope to get some of that money back. So I'll put $10 on them. Well, you'll probably find that you won't get $10 for them. But if you get $2 or $5 for them, at least they're gone and you've got a little bit of cash back. That's the other thing that I wanted to um, encourage you to do too, if that you are considering selling um, any of your clutter during this time. And remember, this is an ongoing challenge. There's no um, end date. Um, I just got one of my little notebooks out of, the, um, out of my drawer. And I'm just going to write um, a little tally every time I sell something and then just check it at the end of the month just to see how much um, I've accumulated and keep it in a jar or a tin or something and, and put it in the bank when I get a lot of it to see what we can um, purchase with it maybe down at the end of the year for a holiday. So there's all sorts of things here, postcards from friends. Um, um, I do have a, a vision board downstairs so I might um, pin them on there because as much as they're, um, they're just a postcard things like that I think are nice to look at they are places that I do want to go so I'm going to put them in my um, keep box more um, Book stands, bookends, I think that's what they call them. Now my husband, my dear husband, bought me um, CDs of some um, bands that we like and had them um, autographed by the band. So they are pretty sen pretty sentimental and um, I think that I still might hold on to them uh, while we're still alive. I think if um, whoever's going through my stuff when I'm passed away, um, they don't like them, they can get rid of them or sell them. You know, they could be quite collectible down the track. So I might, um, they're only CDs, so they're not going to take up much room. I'll put them in the keep box. There goes my keep box is getting <laughs> bigger already. So here we go with the books. Um, I've got old Enid Blyton books. Now, I'm not sure if any of them are, are collectible. So what I, I'll do before I list them is just go do a search on eBay, maybe um, just on Facebook Marketplace or Gumtree, just to see if people are selling them and what they're selling them for. With eBay, it's a auction style system. So even if you put a minimum of $5 on it and they are collectible, you've got people um, bidding for it if they are valuable. Things like these popular kids books at the time, you know, I might put together a whole bunch of kids books 
um, 10 books for five dollars if they're all in that same um, age age um, demographic so I'll just put them in my um, cell box more Enid Blyton books more Enid Blyton books and more and you know what by the time I get all of those listed I think that's all I'm going to do um, for today because I've got quite a few um, My Little Golden books. Now a lot of these that I had as a child, um, you can still buy um, pretty easily. Baby farm animals, but some of them are quite collectible as well. Snow White I've seen all the time, but some of these that I had when um, I was a child and I've picked them up for the kids. The kids have read them since they were little, but they were also they also become really popular, I guess, for people who um, do craft projects like mixed media um, or card makers. So they're always on the lookout for these types of um, little golden books too, because they have some really lovely um, vintage pictures on it, like this one, the Christmas ABC from the 50s or 60s um, children's zoo this one was all, always got a laugh in our house the golden book the little golden book of manners um, it's long gone in this house um, this really lovely one of birds um, so a lot of them I think I'm going to just have to do a bit of research as to where I um, might sell them if they don't sell, I'll just donate them. So that's um, that's what I'm going to do. I've just um, I think that's all the Enid Blyton books there. But I've got probably 20 books there to sell. It's um, 20 past nine, and I've already spoken for 20 minutes, so it's not going to leave me much time to um, list them because I do have another appointment at 10. But I'm going to try, I'm going to do that little bit of research, um, come back to that probably tomorrow if I, ha if I have time, just to do another 30 minutes, and then tick that off when it's done. And just keep those books, um, I'm going to have to work out postage and, and things like that, depending where I sell them. But uh, once those books are gone, then I might start on the um, second shelf, and just slowly but surely just chip away at it. So... Um, I'm just going to go, that's the good thing about this uh, worksheet, that if you uh, just go room by room or say your closet or your linen closet and just stand there and look at each, break it down per shelf or if it's your clothes, do the hanging clothes, the folding clothes, your winter woolens, whatever it is. When you come to your kitchen, just do it cupboard by cupboard or drawer by drawer. Don't overwhelm yourself with having this huge job of thinking, well, I've got to declutter my kitchen now. And usually you have to pull everything out and go through each thing one by one. By the time you've done that, it's lunchtime or it's dinner time, and then all these things are all over your dining table or whatever. So it's best just to do one tub full, which I've got. Um, I've got my tub of, one tub of books ready to go. That didn't take long to fill that. I will um, tick that off once I've done the rest of it. What else have I got on my list? Um, yeah, so 30 minutes. I think everyone can find 30 minutes. Try to look at it too. Um, if you like to have a morning tea break at, say, 10.30, just think, you know, before I have my morning tea break, I'm just going to do 30 minutes of decluttering. Um, you know, it could be 10 minutes of decluttering, 10 minutes of sorting and 10 minutes of listing your items on uh, for sale. If you need um, a hand with uh, knowing how to list your items for sale, like taking the photo, all of these uh, places that you can sell online have apps so you can do it all from your phone. All you need to do is take a picture, download the eBay app, the Gumtree app, um, Facebook app app as most of us have otherwise you wouldn't be watching me right now 
um, and upload the photo straight into the app. Um, I think that's all about it. Um, nothing else that I can think of. Um, I will be doing um, other areas as soon as this, like, because we just, no one's reading the books and they're just there. Like, I've got some fantastic uh, reference books um, about Australian women and history and history of Ned Kelly that we've bought for the kids, which have come in really useful for school projects. Um, encyclopedias and atlases and uh, all types of reference books, but everything's available on the internet now. You know, you just have to Google something and you get your information uh, instantly. I do love still thumbing through a book. I think it's nice to look through a book, but seriously, that is just taking up space, collecting dust, if and when we go um, part this world, it's going to be left for somebody else to do. So I'd rather have it done now and um, be done with it. Down the bottom, I don't even want to go there. That's uh, all my mum's old mum, mum's and nana's old handwritten recipes. Um, a project that I've probably been hanging on to for about eighteen months that I wanted to do. So whether I go through each recipe and think will I ever make that again and just turf it I don't know or whether I just take a photo of it I'm not sure but that will be another big project so also another thing that I wanted to quickly talk about too is the um, sentimental side of it like any one of these books I could say oh Mary Mary Mr. Medal gee that was a favorite that I used to read um, to my kids it was such a lovely story and we had so much laughs. I can still have the memory of that experience with my children. I don't need to hang on to the book. If they want to uh, read that to their children, they'll, they'll probably be able to find it online or listen to it on Audible or whatever by the time they have children. You don't have to hang on to the actual physical object if it's not serving you a purpose. Like if you've got your grandmother's favourite teacup and saucer and you enjoy having a cup of tea out of that then do it but why am I hanging on to 20 or 30 of them I saved all my mum's souvenir linen tea towels I was hanging on to them for ages and I just use the same tea towels all the time they're just wiping wiping dishes why did I hang on to them so I just didn't even think about it I just donated them all so um, if you need to know more about how to um, overcome that because it can be quite distressing and um, it can make you short of breath and um, quite anxious when you when you go through that um, process. I created a book um, that I used when I um, after I'd been through therapy for depression and how to make that move to start to get on top of things. And it's a process that I learned. And it's a book called Mind Over Matter, Mind Over Clutter. So it will help you work through those um, uncomfortable stages. Um, I'll add the link here in the um, in the broadcast, but I highly recommend that you um, share your before and after pictures. I didn't take a before picture now after all, but hopefully um, I'll take one um, of the whole bookcase and or that corner space once it's all been decluttered. But I highly encourage you to um, share your before and after pictures here in the group. Ask any questions. Um, by the end of the month, I'll um, add a little post to... If you feel comfortable with um, how much money you've made, feel free to do so. I'm going to do it just for my own benefit to show you um, that it's working. And I wish you all a good luck in decluttering and organising. So um, it's just going to be ongoing. Feel free to ask questions about anything else relating to homemaking here in this group as well. But um, I really want to keep this going, keep the momentum going one lady in the group said that she had, you know, gets on this great decluttering um, momentum and then it all sort of starts to subside. That's why it's just so important to do a little bit in your day. Um, it's the same as if you're folding your laundry and you're packing away your towels. It's easy just to quickly declutter all the old towels, whether you use them to cut up into mats or rags or whatever. Decluttering is just a normal part of your household chores so look at it that way don't think of it as a big job just chip away 
and let's do this so um, thanks for joining me today i hope you have a fantastic week and can't wait to see um, all your before and afters have a great week bye for now